Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year, I posted letting you know that this year, Microsoft will be replacing the mail and calendar apps in Windows with the new Outlook for Windows, and that rollout will complete by September 2024. Now, we already found ourselves in January, and if you are using mail and calendar apps, which, by the way, I don't. I've uninstalled both from my Windows devices. But if you are using Mail and Calendar, it seems now that Microsoft is forcing and starting to force migrate Mail and Calendar app users over to the new Outlook for Windows. Now, the new Outlook for Windows um, does contain uh, the Calendar app. Calendar is built um, into the new Outlook. And it's more or less a PWA, a progressive web app. So it's more operating like a web app than a so-called native app on your Windows device. And this all started um, in 2023 last year when Microsoft announced um, that they would start redirecting, as I mentioned, the Mail and Calendar app to the new Outlook app. And they also gave you that option to go back part of last year, which I've still got. Although I haven't got Mail and Calendar on my system, there's still this option to go back to try out the new Outlook or not, if you still want to go back to the older mail app as an example. So this um, so-called forced migration seems to be on a controlled rollout. But there are uh, reports that are suggesting that Microsoft now has started the so-called forced migration of users from mail and calendar to the new Outlook app. So I'm just giving you a heads up and because obviously I know a lot of you are tied into the Microsoft so-called ecosystem. Now, as mentioned, um, um, over and above having the new Outlook that will be removed, so you'll get this option removed. Um, there's a notification now that's been displayed um, when you launch your mail and calendar app and apps. And once you do that, the notification kind of disappears and then you are then redirected to the new Outlook app. At this stage, though, um, there doesn't seem to be an option to be able to prevent this redirection. So that's why we are saying, that, and reports are suggesting, that Microsoft is force migrating users over from Mail and Calendar to the new Outlook app. So as mentioned, just giving you a heads up. And uh, um, as I've posted previously, the new Outlook app is now becoming, and will by the end of September this year, become the default um email and calendar app basically on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And although um, the new Outlook uh, is starting to um, so-called become more wi widely available now that Microsoft is um, forcing people to basically use it, um, already um, there's been an um, issue where the EU, as I posted yesterday, due to the regulations, um, they have confirmed that the New Outlook shares your data with 772 third parties, which is a bit of a privacy issue. But I'll leave that video down below. So there we go. Um, if you haven't seen it already, um, according to reports, you should start seeing, um, on the mailing calendar app, you should start seeing that message where Microsoft now is starting to force migrate users over to the new Outlook. And obviously, um, there is no other choice once that's done. So if, if you don't want to use the new Outlook, then you may have to find a third-party alternative. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.